Today, we're gonna be making blackened fish tacos. Now these won't be just any fish tacos. For these fish tacos, we'll be using one of America's most invasive and misunderstood fish, the Northern Snakehead. All right, we're gonna head back inside and get started on the toppings for these fish tacos. The ingredients for these toppings are pretty simple and straightforward. We're gonna need some cut up cabbage, sour cream, real mayonnaise, some lime juice, and my favorite, a little bit of sriracha sauce, just to give it that added kick. First thing we're gonna do is get that cabbage into a bowl. Now we're gonna add a little bit of mayonnaise. We're also gonna take and add in a tablespoon of sour cream. Now we're gonna add some lime juice. And a few drops of my favorite, sriracha hot sauce. All right, my definition of a little bit of sriracha hot sauce, we all know might be a little different than yours. Now we're gonna to wanna to dig in and mix those ingredients up. All right, once that's all mixed up, we're gonna wash our hands and get that in the refrigerator. Now it's time to head down to the grill, get started on this fish. For me, when it comes to blackened fish, there's only one right way to do it, and that's right here with the cast iron skillet. All right, now the first thing we're gonna do is get this cast iron skillet nice and hot. All right, I'm gonna take and let that pan heat up a little bit, and we're gonna add a little bit of oil to the bottom of it. Next, we're gonna move over here to our fish. We've got our two northern snakehead fillets and some Old Bay blackening seasoning. Now when I do this, I only like to do one side of the filet and leave the other side bare. So we're just gonna liberally sprinkle that blackening powder all over this one side of the filet. Feels like this cast iron is getting nice and hot. We're gonna take these fillets here of this northern snakehead. Make sure we get all that blackening season on that one side. When I put them in there, I'm gonna put them in there black and side down first. You can hear them start to sizzle. And we're gonna cook those until they're done, usually about three to four minutes each side. All I can say is this is probably the longest, three to four minutes, because this fish smells delicious. Time for the flip, let's see how these look. Oh, looks beautiful. All right, we're gonna give this side another three to four minutes. Make sure the fish is cooked all the way through. It looks like our fillets are about done. Gonna add them to the plate. Now another thing I'm gonna do is take my flour tortillas and put them right here into this cast iron skillet and crisp them up a little bit. All right, let me tell you, that there looks good. I'm gonna take this fish and actually shred it up a little bit and tear it apart. Like I said, it's a nice, firm, flaky fish. Perfect for tacos. So we're gonna take one of our tortillas. I'm gonna add ourselves a little bit of this cabbage mixture here. Just like so. Next, I'm gonna take some of our fish, add that. Now I'm gonna take and spoon on just a little bit of that pico de gallo, give it a little extra flavor kick. Now take a look right there, that is a fresh looking fish taco. All right, now's my favorite part, time for the first bite. When it comes to northern snakehead, all we hear about is the bad things. Invasive species, eats all the local fish, top predator. You know, this fish is so misunderstood. I like to talk about some of the strong points. This is one of the best tasting fish that I've ever had. It is definitely one of the top ferocious fighters that you're gonna encounter on any body of water. So next time you catch a northern snakehead on the water, take that thing home. Throw it in a frying pan, throw it in a skillet, give it a try. I think you're going to be 
pleasantly surprised. Northern snakehead might just become one of your favorite fish too.